Hello everyone! Today we're taking a quick look at Alien Romulus, directed by Fede Alvarez and starring Kaylee Spaney and David Johnson. Spaney plays Rain, an orphan and basically an indentured servant working for a Wayland yutani mining operation. She lives with her adoptive brother Andy, played by Johnson, who is an android that was reprogrammed by her late father. Yes, the android's name is Andy. It's a bit silly, but I imagine the character named the android when she was still a child, so it kind of makes sense. Anyway, Rain's friends spot a seemingly abandoned ship in orbit around this mining planet, and it turns out to be a research station with two halves named Romulus and Remus, hence the title. They plan to use the station's cryostasis chambers to get the hell away from this mining colony and to some safer planet far, far away from here before the Black Lung kills them all. But after breaking into the station, they find the thing that they were researching is, unfortunately, still there. I'll give you three guesses what that thing is. The Alien film franchise has had its ups and downs, probably more downs than ups. The first two movies were really good, I very much enjoyed them. Pretty much everything they've done since then has been okay at best, and absolute shit at worst. Thankfully, Romulus has breathed new life into this franchise, and it's about damn time. This very much feels like the franchise returning to its roots, people trapped in space trying to avoid getting killed by an alien monster. I would say this is easily the best movie in the franchise since Aliens. Very early on in the movie, we find out that the creature that wrecked the Romulus and Remus research station was, in fact, the same creature that Ripley found on the Nostromo and threw out the airlock. Apparently, the cold vacuum of space is not enough to kill the bastard. Twenty years later, the Wayland yutani Corporation finds the creature and decides to continue researching it instead of incinerating the damn thing like they should. Because if science fiction has taught us nothing else, it is that humans never learn. The movie does present some new ideas. Instead of simply trying to use the Xenomorph as a bioweapon, they are actually trying to research a way to splice its DNA with humans to make us a bit more durable, because humans, as they are now, tend to be kind of squishy. And the creature is strong enough to survive in outer freaking space. And another thing science fiction has taught us is trying to mess with human DNA to make us better always works out well. There's no chance that can possibly go wrong. And we still have all the stuff you know and love from the first movie. The creature is still an unstoppable killing machine. You got your face huggers, your chest bursters, your acid blood. And it's dark and claustrophobic and has some very scary moments, especially a scene where they have to very quietly sneak by a room that is filled with face huggers. And while they are taking elements from the original Alien movie, it doesn't feel like a retread. They're doing just enough to keep it fresh while still maintaining the formula that made the original movie work. I thought Spaney was very good as Rain. It's a very different performance compared to what she did in Civil War. In that movie, her character at least had some innocence at the start of the movie. In Alien Romulus, Rain's innocence, it seems, died with her parents, and when we first meet her, she is already circling the drain. And she is desperate for absolutely anything that will take her away from this godforsaken mining planet where the sun doesn't even shine because of her perpetual cloud cover. I also thought Johnson did a very good job as Andy the Android, and I really loved that Rain's father apparently programmed him with a ton of dad jokes to keep his daughter entertained. And he keeps telling those terrible jokes even though Rain is entirely too old for them now, which is actually kind of funny. It's actually a very sweet relationship between the two. Even though he is an android, she is very much taking care of him as if he is her actual younger brother. And there is a point in the movie where they have to insert a chip into him that comes from another android, and this drastically alters his personality, so he basically has to play two characters in the same movie, and he nails both. Now, I do have one big problem with the movie Alien Romulus, and his name is Rook. Rook is an android that they find on the research station. Well, they find half of him. His lower half had an unfortunate run-in with some alien blood. And this android is apparently the same model as Ash from the original movie. And to make it look like Ash, they CGI'd Ian Holmes' face onto it, and it's fucking horrible. Do you remember how bad CGI Peter Cushing looked in Rogue One? It's about like that. It sucks. And I do understand that Ian Holmes' estate gave them permission to use his likeness, but that does not mean it was a good idea, especially if it was going to look as bad as it did. Every time they did a close-up on his face, I am no longer watching a movie, I'm watching a video game cutscene. And what baffles me is it did not have to look this bad. 
It could have been better. I've seen it done better with Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian. Ten times better than this. But even if they could have done it better, they didn't have to. There is absolutely no reason that it had to be Ian Holmes' face. I mean, was Fassbender not available? Or hell, why couldn't the android have just been another version of Andy? Same appearance, but different personality. I mean, the movie basically did that already anyway. There had to have been a way to make that work. Anyway, disrespect for the dead aside, this is actually a very good movie. It's the first time in decades that I can say this is an alien movie that is worth seeing on the big screen. Just be prepared for Rook's face to look terrible. If you can get past that, it's well worth seeing. And that's all I have to say about Alien Romulus. Till next time, take care.